Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Cunahan, thank you for being here. You. you testified earlier that um, that you came here voluntarily. How long have you known that you were going to be coming here? Uh, I think a couple of weeks, but I'm not. A couple of weeks. Sure. Was for someone who, who knew for a couple of weeks they were going to be coming here, I, I hear a lot of answers of, I don't know, I'll have to get back to you. So I, I'm not sure about the preparation for it, but I do appreciate you being here. I, I want to ask you, 800,000, 800,000 incorrect forms. Is that acceptable? Um, Congressman, uh, having one incorrect form is not acceptable. But, uh, well, there's a big difference between having one and having over 800,000. I understand that. But... I think the point is the, what do you do about it? And what I tried to communicate is the process put in place to identify, remediate, communicate, and move on. Okay, well, what have you done? I mean, well, first of all, let's back up. What happened? What, what was the typical error? What? As, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, the, 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 the best of our understanding right now is there were two pieces of software code that interacted uh, in what's called unfavorably. So uh, it, it ended up taking uh, the, uh, replacing the 2014 benchmark uh, price and, and putting in the 2015 benchmark price on those uh, forms for the 820,000. It didn't happen, obviously, for all of them, uh, and it was a, it was a you know, minority of the forms, uh, but that's our best understanding. Okay, and, and when are you going to get it correct? You know, my daddy used to tell me, he used to say, son, that's why they put erasers on pencils. Well, I, you know, I hope you all have invested in an eraser factory because you're going to need a bunch. A whole bunch. What, what, when are you going to get them corrected? I mean, when can, I don't know about you, but April 15th, I get knots in my stomach. Man, I'm trying to get all this stuff together for the taxes, okay. and my wife, she's trying, and, and it's, it's just, it's you, not a good time. Sir, I can relate to that. I've got the same issue, issue with my wife. Um, the forms will be going out uh, next week. So you have it corrected? By the, the corrected forms are going out beginning next week. Well, thank you. I, I want to shift gears real quick. King versus Burwell, you're aware of that. And, I am. And you know that that's, that's coming up. And, and I think we've all got our own uh, opinions on what the, the Supreme Court will rule. I know I, I think it's pretty clear what they should rule. Mm. I, I think it's pretty obvious that those subsidies were intended for state-run exchanges and not for federally-run exchanges. Mm. And, and it's important in my state, in the state of Georgia, because we have a federally-run exchange. And if those subsidies go away, what's your plan? What, have, you, have you got a backup plan? Secretary Burwell has spoken to this issue consistently. I, I don't have anything more to say other than what the, the Secretary has spoken for us. So you haven't had any input into what, what you might be able to offer as a backup plan? As I said, the Secretary has been very clear about our position on this issue, and that's perfectly fine with me. And, and, I don't have anything more to add you, to what the Secretary said. Do you mind repeating to me what the Secretary said? She believes that we're on the right side of the issue and that we will prevail. Okay, so, so we take the attitude that we're going to win, so we don't need a backup plan. As I said, the Secretary has been very specific on it, and I don't, need, I don't have anything more that I could contribute to. Have you spoken to the White House about it at all? I have not spoken to the White House, but the Secretary has spoken on the issue, and I don't have any more to add. Goodness gracious. I, I know that gives the American people a lot of relief to know that. I mean, it, you know, we all have backup plans.